Welcome back to the Williams Real Estate Channel. I'm your host, Geordie Williams, and today we have Vaughn Hewdy. Vaughn is a site manager based on the northern beaches of Sydney. And as you've uh, already discovered from the headline or the title of this video, Vaughn has been able to acquire four investment properties by the age of 22. What an absolute achievement that is and a complete inspiration. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, Geordie. Yep, doing well. That's the way. Thanks for coming on today. Can you right. uh, kick it off first? Just tell us a bit about yourself, your story and your career. And Yep. So a bit about myself. Um, grew up on the northern beaches, Sydney. Um, went to a local Catholic school. Um, did my time there. Um, I left school after year 11, wanted to be a carpenter. So I dropped out and started my apprenticeship, uh, worked with a local building company for five years. In that time I did my so certificate three building and construction and went on to do my certificate four. Um, which allowed me to become a supervisor, site manager. So did that. And then after about five, six years of working with that um, residential building company, I made the move into commercial where I am today. So working as a, uh, a site manager for a, for a commercial company, running jobs up to 20 million. Um, so yeah, really enjoying that side of things. Um, yeah, and yeah. So that that really sort of set the stage. Um, I guess you're pretty good with your, your money and savings early on and brings us to, I guess, tell us about your first property, how, how you did it, what, how did you get into your, fir your first one? Yeah, so probably from early ages, 16, 17, when I started working, um, always had the mindset that I wanted to buy a property, whether that was my own house or an investment at a young age, I wasn't quite sure. Um, but I always knew, you know, every paycheck, every week, every month that I would be putting money aside um, to one day invest. So over probably the first three years working full time, you know, I was a diligent saver, watching my spending, you know, making sure that that was my goal. Um, so 2021 bought my first property in regional New South Wales, uh, three bed, one bath purchase price, 185,000. And at the time it was renting for 270 a week. So settled on that. Um, it had a tenant in there already. She'd been in there for, a long time so i was happy just to keep her in there um good cash flow at the time and yeah very good so that one's up at um region new south wales yeah that, yep. i know that one you're talking about it's actually yep. the same street yep i've got one and exactly <laughs> my brother <laughs> right next to it <laughs> next door that's yeah that's a that's a cracker <clears throat> That's awesome. Yep. And then, then, so these days, how much is it renting now? For? So it's renting for three fifty now, um, with a current value of about three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, so three fifty times fifty two divided by one hundred and eighty five thousand. So that's about nine percent, ten percent yield on the original purchase price. So that's cracking. Yep, yep, that is a cracker one. That's doing doing well. Um, very happy with it. I haven't had any problems. So then, how that. did you then go from that to buying your second property? How, how did you did you save up again, or how how did you do that? Um, so from first deal to second deal, it was about uh, a couple months later. So that that first deal purchased under um, under under bank value or under the current value of what it was actually worth. So it was about two months later, I uh, ended up refinancing that deal, pulling out some equity, um, which allowed me to purchase 
second property two. Where was that one? Number two. Number two is a Brisbane house, uh, three bedroom, one bath that was purchased in May 2021, the end of May. So definitely not long after. And how's that one going these days? Uh, that, that one's doing well. That um, I purchased that for 248000 and it was renting for three twenty per week. Um, that, one's, that one's doing well. I've had a couple of tenants um, come and go in that one, but I've found one that's, that's sticking around, which is good. That's currently worth about 450000 and renting for 400 per week. Yeah, it's cracking. That one's a that one's a good one. So that's, so, that's good, good growth and and cash flow. So yeah, what, 400, 400 yep. times fifty two divided by what was it two forty? Uh two forty eight. Yep, two forty eight. And with that one, my 8%. plans with that, it's on a, a bigger block size. So future plans to put a granny flat on the back of that. Get How some extra cash block? flow. Uh, it's about six eighty squares, and yep. uh, and it's got a good access down the side. Yeah, of the house. yeah. So the house is posi- positioned to the right side of the block. Um, big long driveway down the back to a shed at the moment. Yep. Big open grass flat block. So definitely, you know, have that option to to divide the driveway up and have a second access for for a granny flat down the back. That's good. And obviously with your skill set, if you mm. can get the time off work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get up there myself and fly up there and put the nail bag on. <laughs> or at least boss a few trades. Yeah, around. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. Uh, that's yeah. good, man. So then that's number two. So that was a breezy house with granny flat potential. Yep. Um I mean even even the one in New South Wales, it potentially it's I think it's from memory, that's a bit of a smaller block, but yep. potentially could add a granny flat, probably a bit harder. Yep. Uh, but yeah, definitely, as you said, number two flat block, that, that always yep. helps. Yeah, number two flat block and probably property one would be maybe just an internal. It's a brick veneer, so it's got a good solid foundation. Yeah. Um, so maybe just an internal renovation, new, ki- new kitchen, bathroom and floors um, yeah. to get that up to speed. And other options are too, which is because I got a similar um, cut like property that, that are smaller blocks. Like I think it's five hundred squares. You can mm. almost is what I'm sort of exploring too is to do like an extension, add a room or two. Yep. And duplex it. So. Okay. Yep. So have like two accesses. Yep. Um. Rather than adding to the actual existing dwelling, adding two rooms and, and a and a kitchen and a bathroom, yeah, and then, and then have a cut off a dividing wall. One one tenancy can be on one side, the other on the other side. So that yep. that's other options as well. Yeah, I mean that's physically possible, right? To to build it that yeah. type of thing, but it's yeah, hundred percent getting it through council. Yeah, is um is is I guess the most trickiest thing. But I mean these things take time talking to council, seeing if they're um, keen to do it, especially now that we're, I guess, in a supposed housing crisis, that there's some councils, especially in the regions, are screaming for more rentals. Yep. So these are the conversations I'm having now is to see if they're willing to approve such developments, like small additions to, to duplex the site. So that could be a good option for number two. So Yeah, definitely. Yep, that could be on the cards. That's three. So then from three... No, that's two. One to two. Oh, oh, yeah. And then number three. So number three, I refinanced um, property two. I didn't pull out the full amount of equity that was available. So I actually used some funds of my own um, and chucked into that. So that was a... Uh, a Brisbane townhouse and yep. purchase price 175000 It was renting for two eighty a week at the time. So that townhouse, uh, double brick, very, very low maintenance, um, 
have good tenants in there pretty much just a, a set and forget yeah, that's property. Good. So it's a good one. <clears throat> so what was it? 170, was it? 175. 175 yeah. grand today. Would That'd be, well, nothing in Brisbane can't get anything less than 400 these days. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. 380, 400 and currently renting for 330 a week. Wow. So that's, and when did you buy that? That was only recently. That was in March, 14th of March, 2022. Yeah. Just only, within, years ago. only within a couple of years. Yep. Which is perfect timing because I would guess Brizzy was flat for a good 10 or so yep. years from uh, 20, 2014. So, yeah, 2013. Yep. So, on the tail end of that protracted, stagnated period and best time to get in because then obviously it's... Yeah, it was a great double, time to get in. Yeah, it's and... just skyrocketed since I've, since I've purchased that one. And then, so then number four. So number four, I used equity from property number three. Um, that was purchased in June, 2022. So a couple yep. of months after number three, that is a, a Queensland regional property, uh, three bed, one bath purchase price was 245. Um, and was renting for three fifty a week. So, Solid. yeah, that so, was a deal. That had yeah. a renovation done to it about six years before I bought it. So, had a new kitchen, had tiled area through the kitchen, um, new bathroom, new timber. Not sure if it was a new timber floor, but it was sanded and polished so that property internally is in really good condition so it's been no no drama since um that's currently probably worth about 380 and is renting for 410 a week yeah well, so again good solid yield good growth within reasonable short period of time so how do you how do you manage them all you you have property managers managing them yeah all? Yeah, so property managers are managing all of them at the moment. Um, and I do spend probably, you know, two nights a week when I get home from work. I'm, I'm doing my own spreadsheets and filing, keeping, keeping up to date on all of them. Yeah. Um, so that, that way, you know, come tax time, I'm on top of rates and just everything that I need to put away. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So what would you say to other young people in, um, I guess, your position? Yep. Obviously, it's hard to get into the market. It always has been, always will yep. be. Yep. What would you say? Look, it's definitely a mindset thing. If you... If you want, if that's what you want to do in life, um, if you want to invest and you want to own property portfolio and build something. So in the future, you know, you have options and a good life, then, you know, don't, don't think about going and buying that 50 grand car or 60 grand car, 70 grand car, uh, like a land cruiser these days and getting a big loan and spending all your disposable income on that. And, you know, be how I was, I was, you know, I was, I watched my money and I, I made sure every week no matter what you know put something aside save something and because it's definitely achievable you can get into the market you know right area invest you know where you can afford and rent where you want to live i suppose that's the way so what you're 24 three now 23 currently 23 and four properties with yeah really the world's at your feet i i only started when got my first one at 24 so you're already oh wow already a bit ahead <laughs> yeah your projection <laughs> the way you're going yeah i mean what's the <clears throat> what's your end goal like what's what, what's your target now my end, Where do you want... my target would be to have a property portfolio between sort of 15 to 20 properties 
Um, definitely want to keep building a portfolio, purchasing one to two a year. Um, and yeah, one day have that, that net, that passive income where I can you know, choose to work three days a week or two days a week. Um, yeah, probably as well as I'm building my portfolio, maybe take the time to, you know, if I can get a bit of time off work to, you know, drive to regional New South Wales and do some work on it, you know, cause I also love building as well with my hands and enjoy getting, um, you know, dirty on that side. So yeah, it'd be good to, to do them up, um, add value, whether it's granny flat, small reno renovation. So yeah. That's awesome, man. That's truly inspirational. I guess for anyone, even, even myself, Seeing you being able to mm. just power ahead at such a young age is um pretty incredible. And I guess, you know, you're only so young, so you know, you can, you can imagine how far you're gonna go in your twenties and then and then your thirties and then by the time you're forty <laughs> retired. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's awesome, the, man. That's the goal. Nice one. Well, thanks for coming on and sharing your story. Yep. Anytime, Geordie. Thanks for your time. It's just a uh, just a disclaimer and conclusion, this is by no means financial advice, uh, tax advice, investment advice. This is just two blokes having a yarn, yep. spit, spitting bullets. <laughs> <laughs> having a good uh, chat. Having a good chat. Yeah, so if um, I'll put my details in the comments below if you're interested in buying an investment property and building a portfolio and kicking goals like Vaughny, hit me up. Happy to chat any day of the week. Until next time, see you then.